Good Burger 2 is a 2023 comedy film that stars Kenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell, and it is a sequel to Good Burger from 1997, which is based off of the comedy sketch from All That. And this sequel takes place 26 years later after the events of the first film. Kenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell respectively reprise their roles as Dexter and Ed. And this time around, it's very, very different. 26 years later, things have passed. Dex is now a entrepreneur in a way. But he isn't a successful entrepreneur. The movie starts off where he gives a presentation to investors uh, called Burn No Home or Burn No More. And um, he kind of uses his house as an example, but it doesn't work. His house does burn down and his investors just leave. And then what else can he do? But he turns to Ed, who is now the owner of Good Burger. And it's really interesting. We see key characters and very different uh, aspects of what the original was compared to this a lot of familiar faces from the first movie up here and it's just fun to see the nostalgic factor is absolutely tremendous and this movie i will say is obnoxious over the top and doesn't take itself too seriously and it's really really fun the aspects of what you see from the first film and from the sketch comedy that was featured on nickelodeon's all that is really really great but the more so aspect of it is that you have a character played by Little Rel Howerly, who's Cecil, who is a lawyer to the corporation Megacore, which is run by Jillian Bell's character, Katz. Now, not only that, remember Mondo Burger from the first movie for uh, Kurt Boswell? Well, he's mentioned, and those Easter eggs are thrown in there, but the fact is, is that Good Burger is now going to go global and is now owned by Megacore and Dex and Ed have to stop everything from happening in order to take, you know, back Good Burger and it's just a craziness and then ensues. Not only that, uh, Dex's niece also is in this and uh, he kind of has a falling out with his sister because he took money to start certain businesses and then you have Ed's character who is loves Good Burger, doesn't want to change anything, and it's just Good Burger through and through. And I mean, come on, how can you not love Welcome to Good Burger, Home with a Good Burger, Can I Take Your Order, or I'm a Dude, He's a Dude, We're All Dudes, Hey. And um, the aspect is, is that Ed now is married with six kids. Six kids. And there's a nice little Easter egg because Carmen Electra comes back, yes, as Roxanne. And you think, wow, he's married to her. No. She's the nanny to all his kids. And then you have other factors of other characters that you've seen in the comedy sketch, Nickelodeon's All That, featuring a Good Burger, and from the first Good Burger movie. And there's also callbacks to the aspect of seeing the original employees from the first Good Burger on the wall, and it's reminiscent of that. Then you have cameo appearances by big-name A-list stars in this film. Not only that, George Clinton has a nice cameo appearance. This is a fun movie from start to finish. It's If you liked Good Burger from the 90s, then you're going to love this. I loved it. I went into it with very, very high expectations. It is what it is. Don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah, it's not going to be a serious movie because it's not. 26 years later, these characters return, but it's 26 years later where it's not a legacy sequel or anything like that. It's true to the first one where it's like more so going off the story and then how Megacore now has like all these robot eds and it's just funny how everything is done. The aspect of getting the laughs is there. But it's really done in a way where it's like, wow, those are just funny laughs. And then seeing kind of every single character do their own thing is great. And you have other big name stars in this. And then you see that aspects are really done where it's like, oh, okay. And also Sinbad has a voice cameo in this, as well as YouTuber Liza Koshi and other big name stars like Ron Funches, Falula Borg. Uh, it's just a fun fun movie if you love the original you will love this one if they released it in theaters i feel like it would have been a semi minute hit uh it would have definitely got word of mouth kids of my generation my generation itself growing up in the 90s seeing this would have definitely loved it uh, and you know even if it was in theaters and if you watch it now on paramount plus do that uh it's good that it is on Paramount Plus because you can just watch it and enjoy it in the comfort of your own home. The movie is 90 minutes long and it's really, really fun. And seeing Keenan and Kel back together again, tremendous. And I would love to see them do Keenan and Kel once again. 
just give me that show again a couple seasons of that one more time and it's great both are fantastic i grew up on them and it's just great to see them doing great great things and seeing good burger too really really a fun movie that doesn't take itself too, too seriously if you like a movie that doesn't take itself too seriously you love stupid comedy you love weird comedy this is for you and it's really really fun uh none other than that the aspect is that when you find out why megacore is doing this and who jillian bell's character is of cats and who she is actually it's like holy shit that's actually a really good story how they went off of it and it actually really really worked and it moved the story along really well done really really fun and the aspect of the writing is there and 90 minutes is just the perfect amount for a good burger movie especially good burger 2 for me good burger 2 gets four and a half out of five stars let me know in the comment section below what you thought about good burger 2 did you like it did you not like it what did you think of it what do you think about the aspect of having a sequel 26 years later set after the events of the first film did you like seeing keenan and kale back did you enjoy this movie did you not enjoy it who was your favorite character who was your least favorite character did you like the tie-in from the first movie to this one and how did you think uh, every you know character did and what did you like about it and what rating would you give good burger to let me know in the comment section below but all the questions i just asked and be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel i will see you all in the next review video i'm mr filmstock and thank you so much for tuning into my review of good burger 2